In addition to a move to significantly more redundancy inside control systems, the move to highly automated vehicles is causing significant changes in the business architecture of the suppliers and the car manufacturers. A big feature of this is a move to more centralized computing architectures. The older architectures in cars were an electronic control unit, an ECU, basically one or more CPUs inside a box, per major function. So there would be a separate ECU for stability control and a different one for engine control and a different one for transmission control and so on. While there might be some combinations of functions, the idea behind the many, many ECUs in a vehicle was in part so that different suppliers could each own their own ECU box and not have to worry about detailed integration with other suppliers. That means a car was designed as a number of computing boxes with each computing box having its own hardware, software, and other integration to provide one or a set of functions. All those boxes are wired together and bolted into a car, and that's how you'd get a car. A very important aspect of this was that the OEMs would rely on the first tier suppliers to do the heavy lifting for system integration. And that was reasonable because each one controlled their own fate via dealing with all the things that happened in their ECU, plus collaborating with the OEM and other suppliers to make sure that the boxes would work together when they were put into a car. Over time, and especially with electric vehicles and highly automated vehicles, there's been a shift to a newer architecture with a central computing ECU. Rather than having a large number of inexpensive, moderate capability CPUs with each function having its own CPU, now there's a trend towards extremely capable CPUs, in many cases with GPU support for high compute capability, all integrated into a single central computing box. That makes it a lot easier to do things such as combinations of sensor fusion and path planning and vehicle control and many other functions. Communication costs are reduced because all the data is already there in a local computer. However, this means that there's software and features from multiple different suppliers and the original equipment manufacturer, the, the car maker, and this means the OEM has a very significant software and feature integration problem that used to be handled by the first tier suppliers. The multifunction and multi-vendor software integration problem requires the OEM to sort out resource and functionality conflicts in a way that was not really necessary with multiple ECUs. This in turn significantly increases the responsibility of the OEM to perform system and safety integration tasks.